Welcome to the test of the FieldTech Dual Channel DDS Signal Generator. On the rear side we find a USB connector for remote control via a computer and for loading arbitrary waveforms. Two BNC connectors for trigger signals and the power connector. There's a lot of space inside. The power supply is additionally hot glued, avoiding breaking of the PCB during transport. The main PCB is behind the front panel, so the signal BNC connectors are directly on the board for a maximum signal quality. Switching on, the display shows the model type. The standard configuration is a sine waveform at 240 kHz with an amplitude of 3 volts. The generator does not save the last setting before switching off. Pressing the parameter button, you can change between frequency setting, amplitude, offset, duty cycle and phase. So let's check the quality of the signal. With the arrow buttons below the knob, you can select the digit you want to change. So you can define the frequency steps. So I will start at 1 kHz and increase the frequency by turning the knob in 1 kHz steps. The amplitude is quite constant and the signal quality is a perfect sign. I will stop at 300 kHz and have a detailed look at the waveform. We can see very little distortions in the waveform. This happens from time to time, but most frequencies are absolutely perfect. I increase the frequency steps to 100 kHz and we can see that the decimal point will move one digit to the right to show 10 MHz. Here we have a 10 MHz displayed on the oscilloscope and it looks very clean, no glitches or peaks are visible. At the maximum frequency of 24 MHz we can see that the waveform gets some deformations, but all in all it's a very good value for the money. Uh, the amplitude drops from 3 to 2 volts, reaching the maximum frequency. The frequency is now set to 1 MHz and I change the waveform to square and have a look at the edges. Let's increase the frequency. Adjust the time base of the scope and we can see that the waveform departs more and more from a square. By the way, I have connected the generator to the scope directly with a coaxial cable, so there is no influence of a probably misaligned probe. At uh, maximum frequency, there is nothing left from a square signal. And also here we see a drop in the amplitude. The next waveform is a triangle and at 1 MHz we have a very slightly deformation of the waveform. Press parameter for changing the frequency to uh, maximum and we can see the edges becoming round and at least the waveform looks more like a sign and again the amplitude drops, but that's okay for 24 megahertz. I created my own waveform with the software, transferred it via USB to the generator and here it is. Of course you can change the frequency of this waveform also. There are some additional programmed waveforms already in the generator. I set the frequency to 100 kHz and we can change the amplitude to a maximum of uh, 20 volts.
If you want to use smaller steps, press the arrow keys below the knob. The setting now is a square of 10 kHz and I switch to offset. Ah, there's no change because the scope is in AC mode. So now it's in DC mode and we can see changing the offset. Possible is plus and minus 10 volts. Next is the setting of the duty cycle. That works fine also. I switch back to sine waveform to demonstrate the sweep function. It's changeable between linear and log sweep. Start frequency is 10 kHz and frequency is 20 kHz. And I will change the duration of sweep to 3 seconds. And pressing on the knob will start the sweep. It looks like expected. Pressing the knob again stops the sweep. I have both channels connected to my scope to demonstrate the setting of the phase between two sign signals. Now I will show the possibility using the device as a frequency counter just by pressing the count button. The signal source is my homemade generator feeding the input of the field tech and the display shows nearly the same frequency. Last thing to show is the software which is fully in Chinese language but usable anyway. You can change the frequency of channel 1 here on entering the value or sliding the slider. Same with the output level and offset. And it's the same on channel 2. Clicking on these tabs will open Chinese websites. On this tab you have the possibility to create your own waveforms. And with these buttons you can load or save the waveform to the generator. It takes quite a long time, so I quit here and thank you for viewing this video.